Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we will understand how to set up webhook inside Zoom. So webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to deliver the data to other applications as an event happens. So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can set up webhook inside Zoom, which will help you to deliver the data to other applications whenever an event will take place. So Zoom has recently updated their app marketplace and after this update, the process of connecting your Zoom account with Pabli Connect as a trigger step has changed a little bit. So I'm going to tell you the updated method. So over here, I will go to my trigger window and I'm going to search for Zoom as my trigger application and over here it is. So now moving to the trigger event that will be configure webhook. So this will trigger on several endpoints like whenever a meeting is going to start, end or an attendee joins and many others. So over here, I'm going to select the trigger event. So after selecting the trigger application and the trigger event, here I'm going to click on connect. And now in order to add a new connection, so here I have to enter a secret token which we will get after creating an app inside Zoom Marketplace. So here you can see that the instructions are given over here in the help desk. So read it carefully because this will help you to connect your Zoom account with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Zoom account and now in order to reach the Zoom app marketplace. So here I will scroll down, I will go to advanced and in advanced, I will go to app marketplace. So this here is the app marketplace and now I will go to develop and click on build app in order to create a new app. Here on the left hand side, I can give a name to my app. So here, let's say that I'm going to give the name as Pabli Trigger. So here I'm naming my app as Pabli Trigger. And it is saved. So here I've given the name to my app that is Pabli Trigger. So scrolling down to the details. So here I need to mention the redirect URL. So now in order to mention the redirect URL, I will take you to Pabli Connect and in the help desk, I will go to this guide. So I will go to this guide and over here in this guide, I'm going to find the redirect URL in the steps given below. So this here is the redirect URL. I'm going to copy it. And in the Zoom app marketplace over here in the redirect URL field, I'm going to paste the same. So once I've done that, you can see that it is mentioned it over here in this field as well. So after mentioning the redirect URL here, I'm going to click on continue. So here in token, this here is the secret token given. So I'm going to copy this and in Pabli Connect, I'm going to paste this. So this here is my app token and now I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that Zoom and Pabli Connect is successfully connected and it has given us this webhook URL. So we need to add this webhook URL in our app in Zoom app marketplace. So in order to do that, firstly, I'm going to copy this webhook URL from here and I'm going to go to my app marketplace and over here in general features, I will go to this event subscription and I'm going to turn on this button. So once I've done that, I'm going to add a new event subscription. So over here, let's say I'm going to give the subscription name as Pabli new. You can give the subscription name as per your requirements. So now moving to events. So here I'm going to add events for my app to subscribe. So over here in add events button, let's say that I'm going to select the event as meeting has been created. So here my objective is that whenever an event will be created in Zoom, then automatically those details should be sent to Pabli Connect. So over here, I'm going to select it. You can select it as per your requirements. And now here I'm going to click on done. So once I've done that here, I need to mention the event notification endpoint URL. So I need to provide a URL to receive subscribed event notifications. So as from Pabli Connect, I've copied this webhook URL. So over here in this field, I'm going to paste it. So once I've done that here, I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that an event subscription is successfully created by the name of Pabli New. So now over here, I'm just going to click on continue. And over here, you can see that it has selected the scopes automatically for this event. And now again, I'm going to click on continue. And now the app is successfully created. So now I need to add this app in my Zoom account. So in order to do that here, I'm going to click on add app now. And now over here, I'm going to click on allow. And as I've allowed it, so this app is successfully added in Zoom. So over here, our app is successfully added and in Pabli Connect now, I'm going to click on save and send test request. 
So as I did that here it says waiting for response. That means now I need to do a test submission or record in Zoom in order to capture the response over here in Pabli Connect. So in order to do that I'm going to create a new meeting in Zoom. So here in meetings I'm going to schedule a meeting. So let's say the topic is of my meeting over here is the date and let's say the time is of 4.30 p.m. So over here I'm going to create this meeting in Zoom. And the meeting is successfully created. So now I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, you can see that we have received the response. And this here is a positive response. So over here in the response, you can see the details. So here you can see the title of the meeting. That was my meeting. And over here is the start date and time that is given in UTC time zone. And here is the event that is meeting created. So that means the meeting which I've just created in Zoom. So the details of that meeting is successfully captured over here in Pabli Connect. So as I've got the meeting details over here in Pabli Connect, that means the connection which we have just set up is a successful one. So the first objective of this automation is set up. That means now whenever a new meeting will be created in my Zoom account, then automatically the meeting details will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So here let's say that I have got the details and now I want to add the meeting details in a Google Sheet. So over here I'm going to search for Google Sheets as my action application. And the action event will be to add a new row. So now in order to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect, I'm going to click on connect. And if you want to add a new connection, you just have to sign in with your Google account. So here I'm going to click on allow as this is a secure access. So here you can see that Google Sheets and Pabli Connect is connected. So now moving to the select spreadsheet part. So this is the Google Sheet which I've created where I want to add the Zoom meeting details. So the name of this Google Sheet is Zoom meeting details. It consists of three column that is of meeting topic, meeting link and the date and time. And it consists only of one sheet. So in Pabli Connect, I'm going to select my spreadsheet as Zoom meeting details. So once I've done that, here it is automatically selected the sheet. So now moving to these details. So here to mention the details in these fields, I'm going to use a method that is called as mapping. So basically mapping means to insert the data from previous steps. So as I've received the response from Zoom, so over here in these fields, I'm going to map it from the response received. So this here is the meeting topic, I've mapped it. So now moving to the meeting link, again from the response received, I'm going to map it. So now moving to date and time. So again from the response received, I'm going to map the date and time. So over here, the date and time which I've received is in UTC time zone. So now in order to format it, here I'm going to add an action step and I'm going to use date time formatted by Pabli. So date time formatted by Pabli will help me to format the date. So here in action event, I'm going to select it as format date with time zone. And now I'm going to click on connect. And here I need to mention the date which is to be formatted. So here I'm going to mention the start date and time. So over here it is, I've mapped it. So now I need to select the from format. So this here is the from format and I've selected it. And now moving to the to format. So here from this drop down, I'm going to select the to format as this format. And now moving to from time zone and the to time zone. So as the time zone which I've received from the response that is in ETC UTC format. So over here, I'm going to select the from time zone. And now this will be my two time zone that will be Asia slash Kolkata because I'm in India. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received a response. And here in the response, you can see that now the time is as per the time zone, which I've wanted. So here the time is of 4.30 and you can see the meeting detail as well. So here the time was 4.30 in Zoom as well. So now I'm going to map the date and time in this field. So once I've done this, this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So in order to avoid that problem, we mapped the information. So as I've mapped the details here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. 
that means the zoom meeting details would have been added in my google sheets so here in this google sheet you can see that in a new row the zoom meeting details are successfully added so here's the meeting topic here's the meeting link and this here's the date and time of the meeting so that means now whenever i'm going to create a new meeting in zoom then automatically the meeting details will get added over here in a new row in this google sheet so this setup was a successful one that means now whenever a new meeting will be created in zoom then automatically the meeting details will be added in a new row in the google sheet so the webhook setup which we have done was a successful one that's why we have got the details and added those details in our google sheet so if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe not just these applications you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of pably connect so if you have any doubts regarding pably reach us at support@pably.com and if you have any queries you can visit us at forum.pably.com if you have any pricing related query you can visit this link so if you like this video please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like share and subscribe our channel